So any examples of a imbalance in the various doshas which could lead to, you know, the common ailments, so especially yes. the ones which are prevalent today, we see mm-hmm. a whole lot of them. Mm-hmm. So how do you associate, you know, uh, and you know, you get an idea that, all right, this is, this dosha probably mm-hmm. of mine is imbalanced mm-hmm. and which mm-hmm. is why this is happening. Okay. So, and you can adjust. Uh, can a- give some examples, like yeah. if uh, somebody is not having good sleep, Hmm. Uh, it's very difficult to get asleep. It's not having sound sleep. That is definitely because of the vata imbalance. Okay. If somebody is having problems in walking or moving or mm-hmm. joint issues, that is be- mainly because of the vata. See, I don't say that uh, pita does not cause uh, insomnia or hmm. pita or kapha does not cause uh, uh, joint pains. But yes, it is more... Uh, uh, prevalent vata is more prevalent in these mm. disorders the insomnia or stress or joint pains vata is more prevalent in uh, aggression issues so when mm. somebody is, is very aggressive or have very stressed and also in issues where somebody is having fever somebody is having mm. acidity hyper acidity or inflammation in the organs they are caused by pitta okay. they are more caused by pitta and the person who are getting more obese they are having issues with the high cholesterol mm-hmm. and very low basal metabolic basal metabolic rate, like in thyroid problems mm-hmm. and other hormonal disturbance. They have more kapha type of issues. Okay. So this is in general that one can derive whether he's having vata or pitta or kapha issues, but it's not very simple. Like a disease mm-hmm. like joint pain, uh, Ayurveda believe there are all the doshas that are involved in it and vata. If prominent, you will have more pains. If pitta is more prominent, you will have inflammation in the joints. If kapha is more prevalent, you will have swelling in the joint. That is mm-hmm. very uh, theoretical in uh, nature, but uh, in a very uh, superficial way, you can say that pains are caused by the vata, inflammations are caused by the pitta, and swellings okay. or heaviness they are caused by the kapha dosha. Mm-hmm. Yeah.